Yo, what's good, guys? It's Beach. So today we're going to go over rotations and recoveries. Um, rotations being rotating back from offense to defense. We already went over defense, counterattacking, offense. We worked our way up the field. Now we're going to work our way back down the field. So we're going to kind of work on rotations and recoveries. And I'm going to talk about the importance of recoveries today. And the importance of recoveries, a lot of people don't understand what's really important about them. Obviously, everyone goes over that first kind of like concept of it's fast, right? Half flipping is the fastest way to turn around, right? Or maybe wave dashing is also a really good way right zap dashing that was a bad zap dash zap dashing wall dashing it's all quick right it's all fast movements however it can save you boost right so if we do different movements like these you can save boost by going supersonic speed and not using any boost right which i see a lot of people boosting while recovering okay and i want to talk about the importance of that resource boost Boost is really nice because if we save our boost, right? If we don't use our boost recovering and we don't use a lot of boost on defense, then we have a lot of boost on offense. Boost is used, boost is best on offense because it, it's how we score, okay? Save as much boost as you can recovering and on defense. That's all I'm gonna talk about. I'm not gonna go over how to do different recoveries. If you guys want a separate video on that, I can do that. I'm here to just teach fundamentals, which nobody else is really teaching. Also, last point, please, God, do not boost to the ground to recover. That's not faster. You can be like, oh, I get to the ground like half a second faster by doing this. And now look how fast I'm going. By the time I'm landing, I'm going to be out of boost, and I'm going the same speed as if I'm just not even holding boost on the ground. So just hold your boost if you need to. So if I go up here, just wait. Maybe use a little bit. Not even then. See, I don't go much faster. And then I use the little bit of boost I have to get back. Okay, now we're going to go over rotations. I'm going to go over the golden rule. Second man's job, we all know, or should know by now. Second man's job is to buy time for your first man to then become second man, right? However, what is first man's job when you're rotating back? It's a golden rule. This is how I think about it. If the opponents are dribbling and you're first man and you can impact the ball, go do so. Go try to harass the ball, right? So if they're dribbling down the field over here, just go try to bump them. Go try to hit the ball. Go try to do whatever you go in. Poke the ball away from them. Make it tough for them to attack your second man. Why? Because then you make it easy on your second man. Okay. If they're in the air and going for like an air dribble, you are no longer first man. Go back. Let your second man jump into the air. Make that pre-jump. And now you're behind him. Why? Because this save from net is a lot easier than this one. To match their speed and get up here to block it. And this save... You can just clean up as, as if you go back as first man and become second man and your teammates up they should force something and it'll be such an easy save i see a lot of people pre-jumping as first man it's not the play the only reason you would ever kind of break that rule is if they're in the air and they're just going really fast at your net and you can stop them but you can't stop them if you go back right because if they hit the ball really hard at your net or whatever and you have to just go by the time it's going to be on your net this whole rotating thing you'd be late to then just go up just stop them right if, if you're going to be late here then just go up okay so that's kind of that whole kind of principle it's really really simple and it's really easy to apply nobody really applies it though and we'll kind of just watch how it goes in games how this works in our games like i said with that said that's rotations and recoveries it's really simple it's really important. It's really forgotten by a lot of players, even in like GC2, GC3-ish. Let's just see how we can apply it. Let's also watch. Let's watch our opponents and see if they do the right thing, wrong thing, right? We'll play three games and get out of here. We're against a duo. Let's get it. Teammate's a little bit late, but I think he's okay. Ooh. Why do I use boost there to recover? So I can get to that boost faster. That's kind of a shitty kickoff though, obviously. There's not much I can do out of that. The only reason I use boost to get back here on that dodge is because I'm picking up 100. I should have played the ball, though. I didn't realize it was going to roll. That's my fault. Bad kickoff, but also my bad. Bad read. Let's get a better kickoff. So I don't go for my corner boost. Why? So I can cover his weakness. Nice. Good demo. See that pre-jump there? How much boost do you think that took him? Now look at that. Wavy's out of the play, essentially. My teammate went over me and did make a great play. So it's not the best for us. I use a little bit of boost. Why? So I can go a little bit. I can catch supersonic speed, right? If you're close to supersonic speed, feel free to use it. 
What did I do wrong there? I didn't go back. However, my teammate went back. I used a bit of boost wise, so I can go supersonic speed. I see how he's on the ground, so I go. Teammate did the wrong thing. I don't boost here. Why? Because I don't need to. I only boost once I'm going for the ball. I'm gonna boost out for this boost. Because I can trust I, I there's nothing I can do there, so I just gotta trust my teammate. We're gonna shoot first time. Don't use boost here. Really bad play by me. I was hoping it kind of get on my car. Bad play. I'm playing really poorly. <laughs> Half this is just part of the game. It's just about recovering. Nice bump bias. <laughs> see, even myself, I see myself correcting it a lot, right? If I can fix this mistake, I'll probably get some rank points, right? I'll probably go up to GC3 pretty quickly. Applying it is really hard. The concept is really simple though. I use my boost Y to gain speed so I can shoot harder. I boost down only because I'm going for boost. That's a bummer. Wave dash with a little bit of boost. I'm still at 90, right? It's not like I drained my boost tank to go quickly there. I was going supersonic speed at the end of my wave dash. I'll try to pop that up high for him. This has been an incredibly awkward game. Nice shot, guys. Incredibly awkward. Good play by us. See how we had so much boost there though to just beat him out there and then we could also get back to the ball after we cleared it. He wants the ball on the right, so let's see what we can do. Damn, I missed. I'm struggling right now. Holy, I'm gonna use boost because I'm grabbing that one. I got faked. I am struggling. Also, please do not, do not, do not, do not. Do not sit there and quick chat to your teammate when they're on the ball. The last thing you want them to be focusing on is the fucking chat. If it's here and you're telling them that you're going to go right or whatever, sure. If your teammate's on the ball, do not sit there and say in position. On your right. Need boost. Do not distract your teammate. I want to leave those on so I can help them on kickoffs, but good God, I do not want... I do not want to see you quick chatting mid-fucking play. It's not like pings in this game. Like if you could ping on the field, sure it would be helpful, but you cannot. Obviously that was my fault, but good god, it's distracting. I also I looked at the thing and then I lost the ball. But nonetheless, it's still my bad. I shouldn't look. I'll fake chat here. Why am I boosting? Just because it's a race. I have to beat him to the boost. I can maybe block his clear. Bad play by me. Fake that. So why? Because then he doesn't go for the ball. It would have been really awkward if I touched it. Because if I do touch that, it goes back, back. Uh, right back to their second man. I'm going to boost here to get his boost, right? Good stuff. Fake. We haven't been counterattacked much. They're not too quick on the ball. They're kind of just doing shit like that. Nice 50 by us. Notice how much boost I have though. I have enough boost there because I manage my boost while coming up the field as well to 50 and then also go back up. Like stay in the play. Stay in the play with 30, 40. It's a goal. We're up one. They're going back right. First man, we don't want to get counterattacked. I respect that he's trying to play slow, gets the bumps. What's my job right now? Just collect boost. Once I'm going supersonic speed, I don't boost out of it. I boost here, wise to get the ball quickly. I boost there, same concept. Ball quickly. However, I didn't have enough boost there, so I could have managed my boost a bit better. If I had boost there, I could have put that on that. 
teammate goes for their boost. I don't think that's his best play. I'm just gonna lob it. And look at that, I'm boosting on my way down again. The core principle that's very easy to understand, not easy to apply. See how it's on the ground there? I tried to 50 him, I, he realized that, but he also made the play bottom. See how that, uh, that was applied though? What did I do there that was very well? It was well done. I can't talk right now. I've been talking for the last five hours streaming. It's me staying a second man because they're on the ground and my teammate who's first man cannot pressure them, right? If they go into the air, it's the exact opposite. And that's really, I played horribly if we win that game just because we played incredibly fundamentally. They had some pretty, not saying their goals were dumb, but they scored because I did really dumb shit. Right? That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. It's the exact same lobby. Let's try to win by a bit more, right? That's our goal for ourselves. I get 50. I stay in the play because my teammate has one to beat. I'm boosting from one boost to the next because I'm going to get the boost. Nice demo by him. I don't think he gets much though because he hit it too hard. Yeah, open that. Miss. Thankfully, I cheated up too far. And he was noticing that. Bad wave dash. But I have boost. Bought just enough time for my teammate to help me out. And I did nothing for him as first man. I guess he made it <clears throat> a decent save. I'm gonna leave that corner in case he spawns over there, which he didn't. They're in the air, so what do I do? I go back. Teammate goes first. See, nice and simple. Unlucky. Really bad gameplay for me so far. He goes for the pinch. I just don't even worry about it. Why? Because I know my teammate's back. Look at this boost wastage. He probably used 40, 50 boost there. Which is good for me because he can't have a great shot now, right? I just get to catch for free. And then he uses the rest of his boost to recover on the ground. Completely wrong, playing the game absolutely wrong. And he has zero boost to defend. Simple how that works, right? Like I said, you want to use as little boost as you can on defense, but just because you want to use little boost doesn't mean you want to play with none, right? Let's see how much boost he had here. He had, he had a decent amount, probably like 24 or 30 there. Still not enough though, right? Obviously, especially if you're getting bumped, you know, you gotta have a whole lot more boost. I use boost to recover. Team has an open that. He has two to beat this. I didn't want to go up. I think good shot. Recognize the opening. Teammates got a ball. We're getting carried, but doesn't really matter. We haven't been scored on. Boost to the boost. Why? Because we're racing. I think I got it, but I obviously got dead wood. I don't need boost here. Pick up pads. Nice that we picked up pads. I'm gonna put that kind of middle-ish. This is a bad play. He's in the air. Okay, so I'm trying to keep, so here's the kind of the whole play there. Is since they're in the air, but it looks like they want to come to the ground. What am I doing there? I'm stopping them from coming to the ground. The only problem is my teammate wasn't stopping the net. Does that make sense? He's trying to cover my weak, which is actually the air at that point, which is like kind of up in the air. I didn't get the boost. I think he got that. Oh, um, that's a bad shot. That might be a goal because of my challenge. It was not. More than enough boost. I used a little bit of boost to recover there. Shouldn't have probably. Right, if you know, once you start learning your dodges and your speeds, you'll know when you'll have to use a little bit of boost to get supersonic speed if you're recovering. Nonetheless, though, it's not. Using a little bit of boost isn't bad, but you see a lot of people just waste a lot of boost, which is obviously not good. Try to put that on that. Obviously, I did, but not threatening. I want to stay in the play, but it's kind of risky. Look how much boost I've used. 40 almost. What am I doing there? I'm just forcing him to clear it. 
Right. They're about, they're trying to counterattack, and all I'm doing is making sure they can. I'm gonna take this and get out of there. Nice save. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I literally have to do nothing. <laughs> Made it way too simple for us. <laughs> right, that could have been avoided. If they one avoided a bump and or two avoided the idea that uh, second man started moving forwards and first man starts moving backwards. Right, if they they avoid that, and same thing here, this first man rotated out. Why? I was on the ground, right? I shot it at his net, and instead of playing the ball, he makes his second man go. If you make your second man go without doing anything, are you making it easy for them? Probably not, unless it's rolling to them, right? Then it, then it makes it really easy, but it wasn't. It was kind of awkwardly rolling, up kind of towards the backboard, kind of towards the net kind of area. And he had more than enough boost because he took my 100. But he makes his second man go, and then he starts ego bumping me, right? That's not a good bump to go for. You're now second man because you made your first man. You're, <laughs> you're second man because you made your second man first man very awkwardly, and then you leave your... <laughs> it's just like... It makes no sense. I'm, even try I'm trying to explain it, and it makes no sense. If we try to explain it, he was first man. He rotated out because the ball, even though the ball is on the ground, made his second man first man without making it easy for him and then left as second man. So his second man was still technically, his first man was still technically second man. It makes no sense, right? It's, and and that's, the, that's the part of the game that needs to be fundamental. Everything needs to make sense, right? The stuff that you don't want to make sense are like the dumb pinches that go into your net, not those plays where it was like if you try to explain what happens fundamentally it just makes no sense it's like I said it's a really easy concept to understand however it's really hard this one's really hard to apply recovering quickly without using boost is incredibly difficult and that's how you become a fast player right you're fast on recoveries and you're fast on rotating and you save your boost for offense and then you'll be quick on offense that's kind of how it all works together like i said rotating it's that golden rule if the ball's in the air and your first man go back if the ball's on the ground and your first man attack the ball right pretty simple in theory this is our last game we'll, we'll get out of here i forgot to move the fucking uh, number thing my wins losses nice play by us there we'll give it to my teammate because it's a team game and that's how you attack right we went over that in counter attacks 101 it's nice and simple. I beat one. What do I do? I set the ball down and say, good luck, brother. Good luck, brother. Right? I jump at the fucking last man. What's he going to do? He's going to sit there and just have to fucking watch, right? Because I'm dumb. I'm demoing him. See how I just instinctually use boost there to try to pressure him. However, they're in the air there. So what do I do? I don't even worry about it. My teammates got me. I'm covering his weak, which is what? The net. What the hell? His weakness, his weak side. Right? I don't mind that. I use a little bit of boost there. Why? So I can get to him quickly and force something. However, I didn't force anything. So me, me boosting there was a nightmare of a play. And I'm just wasting boost at this point. See how much boost I'm wasting? I understand the concept because it's an easy concept to understand. However, it's a very hard concept to apply. If you dodge and use a little bit of boost, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal. I'm boosting there. Why? Because I'm grabbing myself on 100 and it makes me faster to get to the 100. And in turn, it made me faster to get to the ball. I thought my teammate would challenge. I just took a, I took a chaotic. Notice how much boost I have though on the ground there. I had like 70. I guess I could have gone up. I didn't know my teammate was going to rotate back. That makes sense. The guy was boosting in the air for the ball. Fair enough. Can't be upset about him. He had his own fucking... He had his own thoughts, however. Obviously, they were wrong, but his intention was right, and that's all that matters. I use a little bit of boost. Stay supersonic speed. Look how much boost I have up here with him. Simple wave dash. A little bit of boost. I boost there to make a quick challenge, but I'm back. 
Did I miss my challenge? Yes. Is it the end of the world? No. Same concept, a little bit of boost. Grabbing pads. Always grab pads if you can. Do not go wide for those boosts if you don't need them. Do not go for hundreds if you if you don't need them. I'm diving that. Look at how I'm using boost to recover again. Not smart. And I just did a hundred that I didn't need. I figured I'd time that to be honest, which we kinda did. I'm gonna use boost to recover here. Why? So I can get to the ball faster. Oh, I thought you'd get the bump. That's fine, man. I thought he'd have the bump. I would have just left if he didn't have it. That's a bummer. Down one. It's all good. because I hit him. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. That's my bad, I guess. Okay, Austin Seuss. I don't know what to fucking do. Right, I'm used to playing the game fundamentally. I panicked, obviously. That's my fault on the last two plays, I guess. That open net, though, is kind of... That, like, open net play that we had was kind of a weird one, though, because I, I kind of just figured he had a demo. There was a very... I was just going in a straight line. So they kind of had to do a specific straight line defense, which meant do a straight line kind of bump, and it's golden, right? It would be back in time if I shot it with the boost that I had. So I will go for that. Nice dunk. We see that he goes high there, so he can go low. Obviously, it's kind of lucky that I just dunked it in that far away, but... I plop it middle for him. I understand why he wasn't there. That is 100% not his fault. I went over him for the ball. Teammates got it because he's backboard. We just got to look where that guy is on the ground. See how much boost I have here? I just wave dash. I wave dash, I'm close to supersonic speed, but I'm not going there. And then I have 60, 70, to, oh, 90 boost to just follow that ball up and strike it on that. Recovery concept there. I'll fake Chow. He's gonna come to the ground. I wanna stop him from going to the ground, right? As soon as I stop him from going to the ground, my teammate can go. I'm not boosting to the ground. Why? Because there's no urgency to get to the ground. And then look how much time I have. If I boosted to the ground, I wouldn't have enough boost to save that initial shot. That's a fucking weird ass interaction though, because it looked like it went through my car, but. That's what happened. Gotcha. I did not see it hit the ground. <laughs> Lob it up high. Zap dash. Force him to give it to my teammate. He's up. The reason he goes up there is because if they put that on net, he wouldn't have time to fucking get back and help me out. So he actually made an incredibly smart challenge there to help me out. I reset it off net. That's cool. Look how much boost I have there, because I recover correctly. What do I do here? I grab all the pads I can, so I have enough boost to get back, right? Part of recovering and rotating is pads. Understand that. Those pads are there, and they help a ton. Zap dashed. A little bit more advanced. I am going to worry about it. I'm just going to race him to mid beast. Why 
Another ego bump player. He's upset that I zap dashed and beat him to the boost. So what does he do? I mean, this is kind of not bad. Right? Surely that's not a terrible play. <laughs> That's a little tough, right? We'll grab two pads on the way back. Teammates got me. I'm gonna race to this boost. And then just save boost out of it. If I don't need to use boost, I don't want to. Lob it up for my boy. Why? Because we're teammates. And teamwork is what makes the game work. So simple. So, so, so simple. And he's... I'm amazed by my teammate. Really, we let four goals in, but he he understood rotating back. He understood that core concept. I don't even remember what their four goals were. One was a weird dunk. It's good to not remember them sometimes, right? You learn the concepts, but you don't sit there and dwell on the goals that you've gotten scored on, right? If I've learned like the different things that we did, obviously I did stuff wrong. It was the fundamentals. And if I, if I know what the fundamentals are and what I'm doing wrong, it's great, right? But I don't want to sit there and dwell on what they've scored. It's obviously nice to remember so you can learn when you're me you just remember the fundamentals right golden rule just briefly go over it again if you're rotating back and you're first man and they're on the ground go harass the ball if they're in the air and they're in the air and you can go back behind your teammate please do so if you don't have the time to go back because they're going quickly you may pre-jump that's the rule it's nice and simple um, recoveries remember recoveries are not only important for speed they also save you boost this is a very simple concept but a very hard concept to apply I would say it is very difficult to apply that concept of being fast with recoveries but not using a lot of boost and managing that's how you manage your boost pads are important obviously we'll go over that in the next video if you made it this far I obviously appreciate you it helps the algorithm a lot I hope if you got to this far in the video you learned something of value Seriously, I really hope you guys are getting value out of these videos because this is what you're not going to be taught other places. And I only say that not because I'm fucking like putting myself on a moral high ground. I've looked at those other videos and they did not help me in my climb. And I didn't update my win loss, but let's just say we're 20 and 17 for the day. With 20 and 17 for the day, I think that's enough Rocket League. <laughs> Peace out, guys.